Hello and welcome to this video playing Kara Marsov here with White. Yeah, got a very bad score against him, but I could get a win in yesterday if I remember correctly. In one of the live streams. Okay, he's going for the stone wall against the Reti, which is this is close to unplayable for black. We'll see what happens, but usually black gets into into big problems here. So we'll see him. Um, oh my god. Um, I think queen b3 is the best move if I remember, <clears throat> remember correctly. Yeah, the problem is he cannot recapture as b7 is hanging so he will just lose this pawn. It's still a reasonably murky, but from an objective point of view, um, black is in deep pro deep trouble here. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like that. It will be very difficult for him to now regain the pawn. So um, bishop g5 is uh, interesting, or bishop e3. Hmm. I'm not sure about it. I mean, he can never go h6. This is why this is kind of attractive. Still, it's not entirely clear if this uh, pin is doing all that much. Okay, he's gotten rid of the pin. Mm. I could try to just double on the d-file. There are many pieces on the d-file. So this could be an idea. Like that. Okay, so um, how to continue from here? I wonder if I should actually play with g4 and keep the pawn like that so that my knight can actually return to the game. h3 looks useful anyway, so I'm going for it. Yeah, so this is the thing. Do I go g4 here or not? He has knight takes g4 maybe, which looks a little bit off-putting. So maybe, hmm, maybe I should actually get rid of this, this bishop e3. Hmm, not, not quite clear. I can also just trade stuff. Okay, it's not entirely clear to me. I mean, I've got this pawn, but as long as there are that many pieces on the board, I cannot um, easily um, convert it. Knight f3 comes into consideration here. <clears throat> or maybe this one. I think the bishop is not actually doing all that good there. Knight f3 now, yeah, going back e4 e4 doesn't really do doesn't really help him right i have knight d3 or knight g5 knight d3 knight uh, d4 i mean i'm sorry Yeah, and the knight on h4 has done a good job of uh, keeping the pawn for for a while, but it has to be back in the game. It cannot stick on h4 all the time. Yeah, and I'm ready for g4. 
let's just keep this pawn question is what about g5 actually can I use this for an attack that that seems quite feasible actually yeah now I definitely will go g5 without knight h5 being possible and now knight <clears throat> knight e4 looks uh, logical there's also f6 because he cannot capture it yeah so I should do it right if he cannot take this pawn that must be uh, should be quite good You can move the knight though, has to cover f7 I guess somehow. Okay, so queen g6 is probably queen to f7. Knight e4 looks normal here, but this bishop to f5. Mm. But then I can go queen e2. No, it's not bad. Let's do it. I shouldn't get into into any huge time issues here. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, let's go here. Attack h5. <clears throat> I don't think he wants to go oh, I think he didn't want wanted to, to to go there but maybe he had no alternative anymore giving me that protected passer on the f f file cannot be ideal okay I was preparing bishop h3 and I need one more prep move for that. So what about bishop to f5 here? Is that is that something that is that threatening something? Probably not. But this is actually threatening knight takes h5. check okay so what's going on here I take there queen takes yeah, well this this I have to do anyway so let's do it and now he will have knight uh, knight f3 somehow coming but okay currently he can still cannot take I think time warning and it actually threatens queen g4 hmm. it's a little bit annoying here Okay, so this is a check. I, I don't really know. My time is running low. Check. Maybe just rook h8 or some, some stuff here. It's possible. I'm getting... This, this is getting confusing. But it's not clear that he threatens all that much. If I take c5, knight f3, rook h2, I can actually take on f3, I think. So if he has some mate now, all the power to him. Cannot check. Really say much about this. Queen to e7. Check. 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 Black resigns. I don't know. Maybe he had something because I 
because I somehow allowed count to play. Don't don't know. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I said, this opening is extremely questionable, especially in that form. I mean, the stonewall in itself is questionable against a uh, non d4, but in this form, it's uh, it's, it's borderline playable. Yeah, queen b3 is um it's even stronger than than other moves because it has a dual threat e f5 and c5. The relatively best now is queen to b6, after which queen c2 is pretty strong. But um, yeah, he is in deep trouble here. So here he's a pawn down, and um, he's got absolutely no compensation for it. The main issue, is, besides being a pawn down, that this is extremely limiting. Yeah? Black doesn't have squares here, like this, for example. So this position is more or less a win if um, white is doing a good job. And I feel I did a decent job for quite a long time. Here I've kept my, my all my pluses in G4. Yeah, and after that it should it should be winning. I'm, I'm happy um, up to this point here, but probably I'm letting something slip here. Yeah, just taking on G7 is strong. Yeah, why not? Huh? Yeah, I mean, this this looks entirely unplayable. Okay, well, this this is also probably not bad, yeah? This is a very strong asset. But uh, I somehow couldn't finish it off. So up to here. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, the engine actually gives this with like plus a million. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of nice and eh? threatens bishop g6, king takes, queen h5 made. Yeah, that's even stronger. Check. And now things got got slightly irritating, maybe to the point that I had problems. Decided, yeah, here he's got a draw. He's got a draw, knight h4. And rook h1 still wins very uh, clearly, uh, engine engine wise at least like plus four and here um after that i'm winning again hmm. yeah this check. is the draw <clears throat> probably because i cannot go here check i have to do this and then he can check. check me again and well i have to repeat and here check. here i'm winning again which um, i couldn't really figure out during the game it felt quite scary but i can take him this is a double check. check, and here he really has a no good move. I'm threatening mate myself, so it's it's check. check, check, check only. And here he's running out of checks. I can just escape via f3. Check. And uh, yeah, here. Check, check. King f3 is checkmate. And next move. Hey, <laughs> okay, okay, that's very cold blooded. Check. If you have no time, you, you tend to go for Check. checks. And this is what, what I did here. Now I'm getting the queen back um, and I'm not under any threats myself. Yeah, okay, I allowed a big scare there. But um, other than that, the game was, I think, quite okay. All right, thanks for watching.